Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am so excited because we are introducing a brand new stamp and die set called Nutty or Nice that is exclusive for Simon Says Stamps Stamp Timber event and only available for a limited time. These little squirrels are adorable, so let's go ahead and check them out. So you'll see what we have squirrels in a bunch of different styles. So we have two that are facing each other one that's facing front and one that's running. We have this adorable little snowman and his carrot nose is separate because the squirrels are going to be adding his carrot nose to him, which is super cute. We have a small little acorn and then an acorn wrapped as a present, a really awesome tree branch and some leaves and holly berries that you can add to the tree branch. We have these awesome little footsteps that you can add behind the running squirrel and I think it's just so cute, especially it looks like little footsteps in the snow. Then we have a ton of different ornaments in different styles, and these ornaments can hang from those tree branches. I love that there's different sizes and different looks, and we also have two cute little stockings, and then two strings of different lengths to hang your ornaments from. We have these cute little sparkles that are great for stamping in your sky, and then an adorable little heart. And then we have some awesome sentiments. So we have Nutty or Nice, Merry Christmas, we have Hope Your Holidays, Our Nothing But Fun, Our Extra Nice, Our Happy, and then we have We're Nuts and I'm Nuts, About Christmas, and also About You. So I love that you could make non-holiday cards with this set as well. So I'm using my Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. And these E30 markers are my favorites to use for squirrels. So you can see there that I'm adding some shading around and under the scarf, on the bottom of his tail and kind of around his legs. And then I'm blending that out with my lightest marker. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on all of the squirrels. So I'm just gonna add a little shadow kind of around the curves and the edges, maybe under the hat, around the arms. And then I'll blend that out now with my lightest marker. So I'm kind of going dark to medium to light. I'm gonna color in my two other squirrels with the same markers. Once I have a set of markers out, I try to color everything that I'm gonna color in my stamped out images with those markers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the browns. And then I'm gonna be going in and working on my reds. So I'm gonna be using the traditional red and greens to color in their scarves and hats and other accessories here. And so these are my favorite red markers to use for this. I feel like it really gives you that kind of classic Christmas red, but by adding that kind of lighter color in there, it really gives a nice shade from the dark to the light. I like to lay down my lightest marker first, then my darkest. I'll then blend that out with my medium and then go into my light. It's super quick and easy, but it looks really, really beautiful. I got some new green markers recently, and these are my new favorite combinations. I think it's such a bright and happy green. And so I'm repeating the same thing where I lay down my lightest, then I put my darkest to my medium and then to my lightest. I'm using some neutral grays for my snowman's hat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the snowman's body. So I, wanna, I don't wanna leave him just plain. So I'm using a really light blue and I'm going around the edges and then I'm blending it out with my colorless blender so that that light blue kind of goes into nothing. And it just adds that little extra something to the images. Here I'm gonna use the same reds and greens as I use on the accessories for the squirrels and the snowman for the ornaments. That way everything is gonna coordinate really, really nicely. I really love the little ornaments with the scallop detail I think they're so sweet. And I'm going to be doing a little technique that I saw Kay from our design team do, which was so awesome. And so she used some really light gray markers to add some details into those scallops. And so you're going to see that in just a second. And I think it added so much beautiful texture and it was so easy. All I'm doing is just swiping up with my gray marker from those little scalloped edges and it makes the ornaments really look 3D. Now that I have everything all colored in, I'm gonna take my coordinating dies, which I can bend apart at the tabs or use my wire snips to separate them. I'll take those dies and line them up with my stamped images. I'm gonna hold them in place with some low tack tape. I really like using post-it note tape. And then I'll go ahead and run those through my die cut machine. And this is gonna get me some perfectly cut images. And so here you can see all of the images included in the set, and there's so many fun ways to mix and match these. So here I'm gonna take the little strings that are included in the set so that I can hang the ornaments off the branch. I love that there's a longer string and a shorter string. I can also add the leaves and the holly berries to the branch, and that cute little running squirrel looks awesome running across that branch. The little squirrels here can hold the little acorn present, which is just so sweet. And then I love that you can stack the squirrels so that they are also decorating their snowman. So they're gonna hold along to that carrot nose, and I just love that you kind of see them in action creating their fun snow time activities. 
So here is another way to use that snowman. You can take that little carrot nose and stamp it directly on the snowman so that you can have a snowman that's already been completely assembled or you can have your snowman that's missing the carrot nose so that you can have the squirrels decorating him. So I love that there's both options depending on what look that you're going for for your card. So now it's time to create a card. And so we're gonna create a sky here with Distress Oxide inks in both Salty Ocean and Blueprint Sketch. And so I'm gonna cover about half of the card in the Salty Ocean and then half of the card in the Blueprint Sketch. And then the area where those two overlap, I'm gonna go back and forth between the colors to really blend that out so that there's a nice seamless blend. Then for some texture, I'm gonna use a spray bottle and spray it from pretty high up there. You can see I'm all the way up towards the camera. I'm gonna spray it and then you're gonna watch the water react with the ink. So I've done this in fast motion. So what I do is I spray a little bit, I let it react. Do I like it? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna spray again, let it react again. And so I'm gonna keep spraying until I think it looks really, really cool. And right now it looks like the whole sky is filled with snow. I'm trimming down some white cardstock to be four and a quarter inches wide because that's the size of my sky there. And I'm gonna die cut that with a stitched hillside border. And then I'm just gonna trim down that snow. And then I'll do another style of stitched hillside border so that I can layer the two pieces together. And I'm just gonna trim that one down as well. For my sentiment, I'm gonna stamp out Hope Your Holidays Are Nothing But Fun, and I'm gonna use a sentiment banner die here and just line it in place with that sentiment and run it through my die cut machine. And I'm gonna do that for both of my sentiments. Then now it's time to start assembling my card on that really cool snowy sky that we created. So I'm gonna be adding foam squares to a bunch of these images and layering them onto my card. I'm also gonna trim off the little edge of the branch so that that way I can layer it on the edge of the card and it looks like the branch maybe is coming from the edge like there's a whole giant tree to off to the side of the card. Next, I'm gonna layer those ornaments directly attached to the tree branch and then add those hills that we die cut earlier to the bottom of the card. And then we can start to work on our cute little scene. So I'm gonna stack those two squirrels there and then give the squirrels the little carrot nose. I'll add on the rest of my sentiment banners there and then add foam tape to all of my images and layer all of those guys together. I thought some green trees would really spruce up this scene. So I went ahead and stamped and colored some trees from the Winter Skies stamp set. Any Christmas trees that you have would work. And I layered those onto my card. I'm now creating a card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. I'll add some adhesive to that base and then layer my whole card front on top. And this card is done and it's just so sweet and so fun. And this is a card that I recreated by Kay. So thank you so much Kay for letting me recreate this card for the video. I thought it would be fun to create an interactive card with this stamp set. So I've taken out my double slider surprise dies and I've die cut them from some white card stock. So I've die cut the pocket pieces and my little slider pieces in the track as well. And I also die cut some of them from some really rainbow Christmas paper. So I've got a pocket piece and also one of my panels cut from that. Before I start to assemble, I'm gonna do some stamping on my white panel because that's where my sentiment is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that out in some lobster ink. And now I can start to work on assembling this whole interactive element. So I'm gonna take my little panel there that I cut from the pattern paper and I'm just gonna trim that tab off and then layer that right onto the white cardstock. And the reason I'm doing this is I just wanna make the pocket a little bit sturdier. So I decided to layer the pattern paper onto some white cardstock just to give it a little bit of heft. I'm also gonna fold along that tab piece there using the score line that the die created for me. And then I can go ahead and add some nice strong tape. This is some eighth inch score tape. And I'm just gonna add that right along those tabs. I'm using the notch from the die set to cut notches from both the top and the bottom of both of my pocket pieces. So I'm gonna line that up and then hold in place with some low tack tape and run that through my die cut machine. And then I'll repeat it on the other side of the pocket. And then I'll do it on the white piece, which is gonna be the back of the pocket as well. Now that that's all done, I can attach these two pieces together. So I'm gonna peel off the liner tape on one of those tabs, kind of butt them up against each other just like that and press that tab down, creating one long piece and forming my pocket. Now I'm gonna work with my track piece and I need to add some more tape to this one as well. So I'm using some eighth inch score tape again. I've added tape to the top and the very bottom of both the front and the back of this track piece. So I'm adding that to the top and the bottom. And then we're gonna work with the secret ingredient to make this work, and that is a plastic bag. So here, funny enough, I am using some dog poop bags, but any plastic bag would work, maybe one from Target, or maybe some stamp packaging that you happen to have laying around. Any kind of plastic bag will work there. I've cut it to two and a quarter inches, and I added a nice little piece of that strong tape right to the edge of the bag. I've wrapped it around my track, and then I'm gonna wrap the whole thing there and kind of lay it down so that that adhesive picks up the plastic there and attaches to it. And then I'll trim off any excess. 
Now you'll see that I have this slider piece that's moving back and forth. I'm going to shift my piece there all the way to the left, that seam that I created with my tape. And then I'm going to add some more tape to that. So I'm going to add some tape there to the left side. I'm going to flip the whole thing over and then add some tape to the right side, the opposite side. So now there's tape on the left, on the front, and on the right, on the back. Now it's time to attach those panels that we worked on earlier. So we're going to peel up the liner tape on that piece of plastic and then we're going to take our blue sky there and we're going to layer that so that the right edge of the panel is lined up with the right edge of the track. Once we've got that lined up, we can go ahead and press down onto the left side, picking up that adhesive and attaching the panel to the plastic bag. Then I'm going to flip it over, peel up that liner tape again, and because we're looking at the back of the track, we want to make sure that we're looking at the back of our panel piece. So I've got the back of my panel piece showing, I've got my sentiment going in the right direction, I'm going to line up the left side of the panel with the left side of the track, and then I'm just going to push down so that it picks up that adhesive, and now it's attached and you'll see how these two pieces are going to slide. Next, I'm going to take out my pocket and also flip over my slider track piece and I'm going to peel off the liner tape on the back of that track. Then I'm going to take that whole piece and put it inside my pocket. So I'm going to fit it right into that little tab piece right where that fold line is. I'm just going to fit that right in and then I can press it down right into my pocket. Once I have that pressed down, I can peel up the liner paper on the bottom part of the track and then fold that tab over. And then I'm going to peel off the rest of that liner paper both on the top and the bottom. And then we can shut our pocket closed, creating our really, really awesome mechanism. I wanted to add a nice little snowy hill to the bottom of this, so I die cut another pocket piece there from some white cardstock. I'm going to trim off that little tab there on the end, and then I'm going to cut it with a simple stitched hillside border to create this great snowy bank that's going to line up with that notch that we already have going on in the bottom of our pocket piece. My idea for this card was when you pulled the mechanism up, there would be all these branches and squirrels hanging out there. So you would see kind of the extension of the scene. So I'm going to lay down my branch and then my cute little squirrels onto my top panel. And then I'm just going to trim off any of the excess. Also, if you want more ideas and information about the double slider surprise die, make sure to check out the intro to double slider surprise video. Now I'm decorating the main pocket piece. And so I've laid down my branch there and I'm going to trim off any excess again and added my cute little squirrel. And then I'm going to add some of those little strings for my ornaments to hang off of. So I've got the longer string there with my red ornament and then I'll do a shorter string for the green ornament. And then I'm going to attach my cute little snowman as well. And so this one I've got the carrot nose already stamped on him. I'm going to add that little acorn there with the bow. I thought it was really fun to kind of add to the sentiment. And then I want to create a card base. So I'm taking out some really rainbow paper in the 6x6 size, and I love this beautiful, colorful snowflake. So I'm creating a card base that's 4 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half. And then I'll layer that pattern paper on top, and then add a bunch of foam squares to that entire double slider mechanism, and layer that onto the pattern paper. And I think it looks so cute. I love that pop of color behind it. And then here you can see how fun that is. I love that it's this fun scene extension, and you get your sentiment on the bottom, and the extension of those little branches kind of coming out from the side with the squirrels on it just makes me smile so much. So next we have this awesome card by Shari and she had this great concept where she wanted it to look like you were looking out, th out through a hollowed out tree onto this really cute Christmas scene. So we've gone ahead and layered a stitched rectangle and also a stitched oval there. And we're gonna hold that in place with some tape so that we can run it through our die cut machine on this awesome wood grain textured cardstock, which is really gonna make it look like it's a hollowed out tree. So we're gonna run that through the die cut machine and now we've got an oval shaped window inside of that great wood grain cardstock. We've got to do the same thing on the card base. So we're going to run that oval through on the card base just on one side of the card base. That way we can kind of look into a blank scene on the inside. And then we can layer these two pieces together so that we have this card base with the beautiful wood grain on the front, but then on the inside we have a nice blank scene that we can decorate. So we're going to take out that same really rainbow Christmas paper with that beautiful polka dotted kind of snowy sky and layer that onto the inside of the card. So we're going to be looking on into this snowy scene. Next we're taking some pixie dust cardstock and die cutting that with a simple stitched hillside border and layering that onto the inside of the card. And then we can take our cute little stamped images and start layering our scene in that oval shaped window. So the squirrels are, are back at it, they're decorating their snowman again, he's holding the little carrot nose, it's just so cute. And then we've got the one with the Santa hat there to the right holding onto the little acorn present. 
And then for this to kind of have this cool window-like effect, we're gonna layer some acetate to the window piece there. So we've had some adhesive, we're gonna put the acetate piece on the inside of the card and then just close the card to pick up that acetate window. And so now you really got this really cool kind of window effect on there that's gonna allow us to layer some things on the front of the card as well. So we're gonna attach some hanging ornaments to the front of the card so it kind of looks like they're hanging there from the hollowed out tree. So we've added some glue dots to those ornaments and then we'll add a little liquid glue to the back of these little strings and then hang them from that. So I think that just looks adorable and I love that we've got this kind of outside and inside thing going on with this awesome window card. We've die cut a fancy folded banner from some chili pepper cardstock, and we're just gonna take our sentiment there and curve it on the block so that it matches the curve of that fun banner. Then we'll stamp in some nice sticky embossing ink and then add some white heat embossing powder to that so that we'll have this great, nice, bright white sentiment on that beautiful red cardstock. This die creates these awesome little score lines for you that create this kind of 3D banner effect. So we're gonna fold along those score lines on both the left and the right side to give it that look. And then we can go ahead and add that to our card front. To continue the sentiment onto the inside of the card, we've gone ahead and die cut a sentiment banner out of some white cardstock, and we're gonna stamp the hope your holidays are nothing but fun on there. And then add some glue to that, and then tape that down into the snow there, where you can't see it on the front of the card. So you kind of have that fun surprise of an extra added element when you open the card, just like that. So how cute is that? You've got the hollowed out tree idea, we've got this adorable scene we're looking out on, and then when you open it, you get this other surprise of another cute little sentiment on the inside. Now we have some gorgeous cards to share by the design team. So first up, we have a card by Audrey, and how beautiful is that snowy scene that she created in those fun pink and turquoise ornaments. I just love them. This card by Elena is just gorgeous. I love that she just has reds on all of her accessories. The red and the turquoise together is beautiful. This card by Elise is so sweet. I love how she used the snowfall backdrop and created such a fun scene. And then I love the scene with the little hearts and the little footprints leading up to the squirrels are just adorable. And then she had one more awesome card. I love all of the ornaments and st stockings hanging from the branches. This is the card by Kay that inspired us to make our card today. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this card by Lizzie is so fun. I love how she masked off an area and just inked that little rectangle. It's such a cool way to present a scene. Megan created an awesome double slider surprise card and how cool is this when you open it you get this great extension of these fun squirrels and that awesome picket fence. I love how Melissa used the peekaboo backdrop to create a really really cool look and look at the inside of her card it's just adorable with that little squirrel bouncing off. This card by Letitia is so sweet I love the gold and red combo and this card by Lynette is just beautiful how cool is that window cut from the pattern paper I just love it. This double slider card by Nicole is so amazing. I love that when you pull that open, you get that great extension of the scene, and I love the colors that she used for her ornaments and stockings. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with Nutty or Nice, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!